O oh, great goddess Isis, began the ancient Egyptian magical spell said to cure anyone who is ill. Thy great enchantress, heal me, deliver me from all evil, bad, typhonic things, from demoniacal and deadly diseases and pollutions of all sorts that rush upon me, as thou did deliver and release thy godson Horus. These were the words written on an ancient medical papyrus found in Egypt. More than 3,000 years later, we are still trying to understand the secrets of Isis and the other Egyptian gods who were worshipped at the time. Fortunately, there are still places that we can visit today in order to learn more. We went in search of historical sites in Egypt that we hadn't heard of before. Everyone knows of the Great Pyramid and probably even Karnak and Luxor temples, but we were excited about seeing the lesser known temples as well. First is the temple complex of Philae. Since Philae is an island, it means arriving at Philae is part of the experience. You need to catch a boat from a small dock and it takes about 15 minutes to putter over to the island. I love the view as you approach. You get to see the columns and walls rising up from the water. When you arrive, you enter the court and on either side you'll see structures fronted by colonnades. The columns and the inscriptions on them are incredibly intricate and detailed. The Great Temple is dedicated to Isis as well as Osiris and Horus. The temple walls contain scenes from Egyptian mythology of Isis giving birth to the god Horus and bringing the god Osiris back to life after his deadly fight with evil god Set. Speaking of life, we found unexpected wildlife on the island. We're exploring the island and something interesting that we just discovered is there's cats everywhere. Um, it looks like they're feeding them down here right now, but they got all cats, all colors, and you gotta really be careful you step on them because they're all under your feet, but they're really cute. Traveling around Egypt, you see a lot of hieroglyphics, but there is something special about the ones at Philae. They were the last ones to be written by the ancient Egyptians. There is one inscription that has been officially declared as the last written Egyptian hieroglyphics. It is dated August 24th, 394 AD. In the ancient Egyptian calendar, it actually refers to the day of the birth of the god Osiris. Our tour guide, who is fluent in Egyptian hieroglyphics, read some of the passages on the walls. I myself tried to read some of the ancient hieroglyphics in order to summon the power of Isis, but unfortunately, it didn't go so well for me. Almighty oh Isis! Joking aside, we had not heard of this place before coming to Egypt and we were happy to have the experience. Well, we're in Edfu this morning and we're doing something really unusual. We're on a horse and carriage ride. So this is our friend, um, Ali and he is taking us to the place where we're going to tour uh, the Edfu Temple this morning. So it's uh, early in the morning, another beautiful day and another cool experience right here in the streets of Edfu. And uh, again, here's the Nile. You got the local kids coming by and it looks like uh, another neat experience. <laughs> Holding the reins now. He's helping me out, but uh, we're getting to hold the reins with Prince here. <laughs> cool. <laughs> 
The temple is dedicated to the Egyptian god Horus. You can see the stone sentinels of the falcon-headed god guarding the temple. Isis, whom you met earlier, was the mother of Horus. We're here at Edpu Temple, and this one's really amazing. It's the best preserved temple uh, out there, and it's huge. And you can see, you can really get a feel for the scale of the place because most of the walls are still here. So uh, we're now in kind of the inner part of it, and it's beautiful. The size and the scale of this is really hard to capture on video, but I think you get an idea based on some of the pictures we're sharing and the videos of just how big this place is. All original, about 57 BC, and uh, a really cool place. Lastly is Dendera. The temple complex at Dendera is quite large and it's very old. The first building on the site went up around 2250 BC, but the standing structures mostly date from the Ptolemaic era, which is Cleopatra's time. Pretty awesome, huh? The Temple of Hathor is one of the most well-preserved antiquity sites in all of Egypt today. It's just really hard to get to, so it's not as well known. This site was a center of the cult of goddess Hathor. It was believed that during a period known as the Happy Reunion, Hathor would journey from her temple at Dendera to spend time with her husband Horus, who we just met ourselves at his temple in Edfu. This reunion was a yearly occurrence, and it was thought to signal the official beginning of the flood season of the Nile River. We're now walking up to the roof of the Dendera Temple, which is where I hope I'll get to see the original resting place of the zodiac that we saw in Paris at the Louvre. This pathway is very winding. And you see spectacular hieroglyphics on the way up. We're about there. Ooh, it's more than I expected. Can you see the can the Scorpio? Can you see? Okay. Can you see the very good lady? Can you see the, the Libra? Uh -huh. Can you see the Aquarius? I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing. Our signs, which we all know and use, know by Egyptians. We're inside. We have just been inside the place in the Dindara temple where the zodiac that we saw, the original, that's now in Paris in the Louvre came from this exact spot. So we're literally getting to kind of re-experience the origin of what we saw in Paris here at its home. We're walking around back of the Dentera Temple at the moment. 
because apparently there are some hieroglyphics left here by Cleopatra during the Ptolemaic era. We just left the Dendera Temple, which was a fantastic experience. There, it, it, this is kind of out in the middle of nowhere, so there's a, not a lot of tourists here. Uh, so we kind of had the place more or less to ourselves, which was cool. And we got to go all through the temple, all around it. Wasn't yes. it just fantastic? This was amazing. It's huge. And the detail's crazy. It was from 1 uh, century BC to 1 century AD. Uh, 1 century BC to I 1 can't century keep track AD. Of that. Yeah, that's what it was. The years. And uh, it was, wow, it was really incredible. What an experience. Especially going up into the roof. Yeah. And then, of course, to see the Zodiac there, that was pretty amazing. I can't imagine the work that went into this. Everywhere yeah. you look, there's these intricate carvings and hieroglyphics, and it's crazy. Well, our time here in Egypt has come to a close, and this has been an awesome trip. Uh, we have traveled through thousands of years of history, seen things that we dreamed about our whole lives, as well as a lot of things that we didn't know about. We've learned, we've experienced this with fellow travelers. And I gotta tell you, this really was uh, a dream trip. We've reflected on all the things we've done and we've collected a lot of memories. We've collected a lot of photos and videos here that are gonna serve us well as we kind of build this story. But as we've done this together and we've kind of sat back and think about it, this was really a special time. Uh, it's not an easy place to come. It's definitely a challenge in some of the big cities and getting around and some of the conveniences that we may be used to that aren't always afforded here. But man, we did it right. And uh, it's definitely something that we'll always remember and likely come back at some point. Um, there's a lot more to do. Obviously, when you come for a trip like this, you see a lot and your days are packed. And uh, at the same time, you realize just how little you've seen. So we've got a list going already of all other things that we want to do someday. But this was a great trip, one that we'll always remember and really recommend. Thanks for coming along with us and we'll see you out there. Watch this video to see what's next on our adventures and check out our customizable merchandise store. See you soon!